Welcome. It is the 2nd of December 2025, uh, the year that is flying by. GDP growth for the third quarter of this year was released. That is the number of the day, 0.5%. What does it mean to you, Akash? Look, uh, some good and some bad. The good is that it's the fourth quarter that we've had positive economic growth. The bad is that at 0.5%, the economy is simply not growing anywhere near that we mm. needed to grow to create jobs, to reduce unemployment as well as poverty. So Dr. Iraj Abedian, we, we got a comment from him and he said, this is like a low growth equilibrium. And is it disappointing? Um, because we thought when load shedding ended and things started moving, there's been traction, there's even been a, a move off the gray list this year. But it's not equating to, to growth numbers that we need. Well, Francis, let's not be overly pessimistic. Um, okay, let's, let's be positive. Last year, we had uh, economic growth uh, that came in at 0.6%. And our finance minister has predicted economic growth this year in excess of uh, 1 percentage uh, 1%. Mm -hmm. And for the next two years, probably closer to the 2 percentage mark. Now, whether we get there or not is, is, is a subject for a different day. But certainly, it would seem as though that economic growth in 2025 while it may come in at less than 1%, will still be better than what we did in 2024. So it's slow, but seemingly definite growth. Okay, so the, the trend is positive. The trend is positive, let's, correct. Let's take the trend. What, what worries me though, Francis, is that we have so many challenges in this country and at those growth levels, we're simply not able to do what we need to do to get more people employed. Yeah. And, and more people are being born. So if you think of it in terms of population, that, the population is growing faster so, so than that the is, economy. That is a fantastic point that you've just made because in 2024, we saw population growth of about 1.3%. Economic growth at what, 0.6%. Uh, half. Less than half, right? Mm. In this year, the uh, population growth is projected at 1.1%. We're sitting at economic growth in the third quarter of 0.5%. And whenever your population growth exceeds your economic growth, everybody is getting poorer. Yeah. Okay, so the economy is growing, but we're still getting poorer. Um, hopefully, we'll even out. So, so Treasury, uh, the last prediction, 1.2%. Uh, I was trying to do the maths, but if we look at the 0 0.5 is on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. On an annualized basis, quarter one, 0.8%, quarter two, 0.9%. Quarter three, 2.1%. So that sounds pretty good. Um, you add them all together, divide by three to get a rough average, 1.2%. But but we've still got a, a quarter. We, so we may not even get to one. Right. We may or we may not. And that's, and that's a lot of numbers there, right? But what does it mean? And for me, this is, this is what it means. We just have the matric class of 2025 who have finished their exams. And they're going to be looking for jobs next year. And the reality is that with an economy growing at 0.5%, these kids are simply not going to be able to find jobs. So if you if you somebody um, who's not going to go to university, don't wait for the private sector or government for that matter to create work for you. Mm. You've got to do it yourself because based on these numbers, we're not going to see some massive growth in, in job opportunities. Uh, and just finally, I mean, we've been hearing about the reforms that need to happen. And a lot of people are talking about municipalities at the moment. The, the municipalities have to be fixed besides the ports and, and ESCOM. OK, that's on a, a good tack, uh, but still a lot of work to be done. And that's where we are. 0.5%, the number of the day, uh, raising a myriad of issues, as you say.